Ah, the Jordan 13, one of the most comfortable and best performing Air Jordans out there. The Jordan 13 will always have a special place in my heart. Originally released in late 1997, then throughout 1998, the retail price was only $150, and they had a total of seven different colorways, five high tops and two low tops. Tinker was inspired by the Black Panther for the Jordan 13, playing off of Michael's Black Cat nickname. The design featured dotted embroidery mimicking the base of Panther's whiskers and featured the paw pad outsole design and of course a circular hologram at the heel which mimicked a yellow green Panther's eye look. Since 1998 we have seen so many different colorways of the Jordan 13s. Some of them were just downright disrespected on release day. Some of these you might love, some of them you might hate, but these are the downright most disrespected Jordan 13s of all time. Number 5, Jordan 13 Chris Chris Paul PE. The Jordan 13 CP3 was released November 7th, 2015 for $200. This PE is from Chris Paul's New Orleans Hornets days. This black and blue version is the away version for the road games worn by Chris Paul during his time with the Hornets. And it does feature a dotted black mesh, black tumbled leather toe box, and of course the sunstone yellow accents on the tongue and the bottom, especially that bright yellow Chris Paul logo on the tongue. The blue suede wraps around the base and the heel and extends down to the midsole. This is by far one of the best looking Jordan 13s out there. So what happened to it? Well people were not a big fan of the mesh on the sides and honestly nobody really cared for the New Orleans Hornets. This Jordan 13 is a PE without paying the PE price. Think about it, this shoe released almost six years ago. Retail price $200. You can pick up a size 10 right now for $240. Size then and a half as low as $235 and size 11 only $65 higher than retail price. The average sale price is only $30 higher than retail. Personally, I do believe this is a steal. Number four, Jordan 13 Wheat. Released in 2017, this Jordan 13 was actually called Golden Harvest, not to be confused with the original Jordan 13 Wheat. Some people still gave it the Wheat nickname and personally, I believe both of these colorways should be on the disrespected list. Now the 2017 Wheat was also part of the Holiday Pack which featured the Jordan 1 and Jordan 6 Wheat Collection. This Jordan 13 got an all over tan treatment. Suede overlays to the tonal leather upper, suede also on the tongue, green hologram on the heel, and a black and gum outsole. Now the color may not be the best but the quality is there for this Jordan 13. But the response not that great. They did hit the Nike outlets immediately after release. $140. A great winter shoe. I like that this model is just something different. I would take the wheat over one of these copy and pasted Jordan 13s any day. And of course, when you cannot get a pair, that's when the prices go up. $139 at the outlets. Now look at these prices on StockX. Size 13, $417. Size 11, $371. Size 9.5, $449. We did see a bump up in sales. January of 2020, ultimately jumping up over $300 in June. Number three, Jordan 13, He Got Game. Jordan 13, Black Toes, also known as He Got Game, should be listed in the credits for the movie. MJ did wear this pair for the 1997-1998 season, it was released in 1998, again in 2013, and again in 2018. So how does an OG colorway like this one make it to the disrespected list? Since it was released in 2013 and again in 2018, it was only five years in between, the hype was not really there. The Heat Got Games were sitting at Foot Locker, Foot Actions, and more, eventually making their way to the Nike outlets, $140. Multiple outlets were carrying them, and great sizes out there, 11 through 13. Look at these crazy prices now, a size 13, $514, the lowest ask, a size 10, and size 11 both at $400. If you go back to the sales chart late 2018 to early 2019 they were selling for about retail even some less than retail price. They took a huge jump in April of 2020 
Hmm, I wonder why. This is one of the many shoes that had the last dance effect. A great looking OG that was disrespected and people only cared about it after watching the documentary. Number two, Jordan 13 Carmelo Anthony class of 2002. Really, why was this shoe disrespected? This is a B grade shoe that hit the outlets. Just wait until you see how low Nike priced this shoe. Released in 2018 as a Nike factory B grade only, the Melo class of 2002 celebrated Carmelo's high school alma mater, Oak Hill Academy. The shoe featured a mix of nylon, leather, and suede for the upper, finished in black, university gold, and red, and inside we had class of 2002 with Melo's personal logo. So what happened? In September 2018, we got the news that this shoe may not release. Nike announced it would be a GS colorway exclusive. But why? A Jordan brand spokesperson confirmed that it had a minor cosmetic flaw and because of that Nike had to pull the men's and toddler sizes the flaw ended up being red ink bleeding from the midsole some pairs looking a lot worse than others several weeks after we received the news that they were not going to release they showed up in waves at the Nike outlet stores. Every single Nike outlet you walked into, they had the Carmelo 13, starting off at $160, then down to $130, then down to $100, add an extra 20% off, until finally, the cheapest, the lowest I've ever seen it, 60 bucks. Many pairs hit the back wall, and in early 2020, some pairs even resurfaced. Shout out to Koo Kicks, go subscribe to them. Legend has it, there still might be some Carmelos out there. And here's where the disrespect comes in. Some priced $100, some extra 20% off, some at $60, and now look, now that we cannot get them, the prices are high. For two years, the shoe just sold over $120. It was definitely priced as a steal. In May 2020, it did jump up. And now with Carmella with the Lakers and this shoe having a similar Laker colorway, I see it climbing up again. And our number one most disrespected Jordan 13 of all time, the Jordan 13 Playoffs. The Jordan 13 Playoffs apparently only releases once every 13 years. The last time this sneaker released, Kyrie was the first pick in the draft. The Hangover Part 2 was big time at the box office. And of course, this, well, number one song. Man, what a shoe of beauty. Dressed in original black, true red, and white. This Jordan 13 features a black tumbled leather upper with matching suede overlays. Red accents hit the Jumpman branding and outsole. And of course, the minor touches of yellow on the tongue and the hologram. In 2017, the rumors were out there. We were finally going to get the Jordan 13 playoffs in August, but instead we got the bread and not the playoffs. So to recap, they released in 1998, again in 2011, this is my picture by the way, where I picked them up with no raffle, no line, nothing. So when will we get this shoe next? 2024? Looking on StockX, they're sky high. Of course, they came out 10 years ago. Size 10 and a half at $537. Size 13 at 600 and size 11 at 700. The fact that Jordan brand will milk us and the Jordan 13 for all they're worth by giving us all these random colorways instead of releasing the pair that we want is the ultimate disrespect. Our recap, the five most disrespected Jordan 13s of all time. Number five, Jordan 13 Chris. Chris Paul PE. Number four, Jordan 13 Wheat. Number three, Jordan 13 He Got Game. Number two, Jordan 13 Carmelo Anthony. And number one, Jordan 13 Playoffs. Did I miss anything? Leave me a comment below. What are your favorite Jordan 13s? Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We're going to keep this series going. Eventually, we'll get into Kobe's, Dunks, LeBron's, and more. Remember to tag me in all your finds, all your deals, Nike Outlet, and more. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Go out and get it.